Tell me that's you. Yeah, I didn't go to work today. I'm not feeling too well. I've just been in pain all day. I can't even stand up without falling to the floor. It started when I was getting ready after you left. One minute I was brushing my teeth. The next I was bending over the sink almost choking on my toothbrush. It still hurts. Everything just hurts. I've never had this happen at the start of my period before. It's awful. I tried everything. Pills, water, a bath, scented candles. Nothing's worked. I couldn't even sleep. I had a grace period starting at 2. Oh, I'm starving. But I know myself whenever this happens. My periods make me hungry, and I'd eat so much, and then I'd feel fat the next day. See, being a woman is terrible. Not even nature does any favors. I want dinner, but at the same time, I don't want it. I kind of feel nauseated, but that's probably because I didn't eat all day. Have you skipped work because of me? Not a chance. It's usually the first day that's the worst. If I had you stop work every single time this happens, you wouldn't even have a job that pays anymore. We can't afford that. Look, you're home now, and it's making me feel a little better. Would you mind snuggling with me? I'm clean, I swear. The shower after the bath helps with that. Oh, God bless you. I needed this. No, I don't want to talk about the leaving work thing anymore. What's done is done. But my period is not. I'll be suffering this until menopause. Because you men don't have the ability to conceive and carry children. <laughs> you are right. If it was the other way around, you would get all the misery. At least it would make me feel less crazy or less emotional to the point of vulnerability. You know I'm a different person at this time of the month. I go from happy-go-lucky to a lesser Wednesday Adams level of darkness. It's my body. I should be controlling everything. What do you mean it's not my fault? I'm more than aware that this is nature's way, and there's nothing to control. But that doesn't stop the pain or make it any easier to bear. Yeah, it still hurts. I would appreciate the snuggles, but maybe you can make dinner now, please? What? You're not? Don't do that because of what I said. I know what I said earlier, but I'm actually really, 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 really hungry. Hunger pangs and cramps don't go well together. I appreciate that you don't want to leave me, but... Oh, you're ordering? Well, why didn't you just say that before? Oh my god, you goddamn tease. Didn't you know it's against the relationship code to toy with your partner's feelings like that? Well, aren't you enjoying yourself? Hmm... Actually, I've been craving sushi all day. Could I get a salmon and avocado bowl? Aw, thanks. You can use my Grubhub for that. So you really wanted to make sure I was okay? Aw, you're the sweetest. Maybe after you figure out how long our food's gonna take, you can join me for a nap? Maybe your warmth will get my cramps to go away. Thanks, hon. How did I get so lucky? I used to suffer these all by myself, but then you came. Miracles, right? Hmm. You haven't met a girl who wants to be pampered on her period either. Who the heck wouldn't want to be? 
I only didn't say anything because your job matters. I didn't want you to skip a possible paycheck for me. It's called still having a routine. If you're not sick or in huge pain, you go to work. That's called life. It's not my fault personally that the female species gets the short end of the stick. Still, I'm always able to go to work until this. This is like I'll crash my car into a tree because I can't sit up to see where I'm going or hold the steering wheel. Even if I were to Uber over there or ask for a ride earlier, I'd never be able to focus. I'd be banging my head against the monitor and kicking my hard drive over. Or maybe bite down on my desk stress ball. In short, I wouldn't last a half hour. Today was just a bad day. I was thinking about that, but I can't imagine taking a pill every day because of something that happens once a month. Those painkillers don't really work. But I hate getting this when I could be doing something productive. Like working! I don't know what to do about that. I know it's my choice, and I don't want to make you feel bad either. It's just that I don't know what will make my life more normal. I guess you're right. I won't worry about it now. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna sleep it right off. Did I forget to mention that you're too good for me? I know, totally off topic. But you are too kind to be with me being all gross and all. I'm really not myself today. But you didn't care about that part. You just wanted to see if I was okay, and I greatly appreciate you for that. Mm. Sorry, cramps. It spiked on me again. No, no, it's already gone. These things just come and go whenever they feel like... Asshole cramps. I don't know, maybe I'll think about those pills after all. I'm trying, I really am. Like I said, I couldn't sleep at all today because they hurt so much. Well, painkillers are supposed to work, but like I said earlier, again, they don't do jack. Maybe I'm missing other things I can do because I really didn't have the energy to look it up. Oh, what did you find? I am not getting up to do crunches to cure these cramps. Yeah, I don't have the birth control to use for that either. Okay, I am not repeating that option. Is there anything else? Like, anything? A heating pad? Do we have something like that in the closet? Like the, the closet down the hall? We do? There is a god! Yeah, I just need to sleep with that, and hopefully, it'll stop the pain. Okay, that is hot. But will it work? We'll find out soon enough, I guess. Is that the sushi already? Damn, that was fast. I'll be waiting, even though it's only a few seconds. <laughs> oh my god, this heating pad is actually working! Thank god it's actually working!